the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 228 1 Chronicles 17-20 David's prayer and victory record God, who kept his promise faithfully with David, led him to victory during his fight with his enemies. First point, regarding David's wishes to build a temple, God told him his answer and his plan. After moving the ark to Jerusalem, David reflected on how his status had changed from being a runaway to a king and how he came to live in a palace. Then this sparked a hope to build a temple for the ark. David told this to Nathan, and Nathan told him that God was pleased with this. But God had a few conditions. Go and tell my servant to David, this is what the Lord says. You are not the one to build me a house to dwell in. God did not give these conditions on a negative note. God was actually most pleased and surprised by David's suggestion. Thus, God gave the blessing of enabling David's son to build the temple. God furthermore told Nathan that David's name would be honored. Moreover, God said that David's descendants would have a lasting monarchy. God overall said yes to David's suggestion and also gave him God's design of the temple, which David was to prepare and for his son to make. Second point, David did not call himself a king before God, but rather called himself a servant. After hearing that his son would be able to make the temple and that his descendants would be blessed and be kings of Israel, David prayed to God. David prayed to God and said that he was God's servant and that God was the king of Israel. David was a humble before God and thanked him for confirming the covenant of a kingdom of priests. You made your people Israel your very own forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. David prayed for this covenant to last. Third point, God helped David win wherever he went. David recorded the country's victories. The first were his victories against the Philistines. The second were his victories against Boa. The third were his victories against Joba. The fourth were his victories against Aram. The fifth were his victories against Edom. All of David's results in battles were consistent. The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. God had told Abraham from the very early days. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham and said, To your descendants, I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. After Israel saw victory with all their surrounding countries, they now focused on preparing for the temple. Fourth point, the descendants of Lot became the Ammonites and they grew in conflict with their brother nation Israel. 1 Chronicles 19 goes on to record David's victories. These were records of victories against Ammon and Aram. Comparing the records in Chronicles to 2 Samuel, the writer of Chronicles leaves out how David took in Jonathan's son and how he killed Uriah. It seems that the writer focused on the battles and the victories. David fought against Ammon. There was a misunderstanding from David's letter to the king of Ammon. Although the descendants of Lot who became the Ammonites were brother nations with Israel, we can see that they had a constant conflict. They had, in the early days, cursed the people of Israel after Exodus. The people of Ammon misunderstood David's letter 
and once again started war with Israel. When Ammon brought in Aram soldiers, David also brought in Joab. For this battle, Joab and Abishai stepped in and devised a plan. Joab blocked Aram and Abishai blocked Ammon and thus blocked their alliance from happening. Consequently, Israel was able to defeat Ammon and Aram. The king of Ammon paid a thousand pieces of silver to bring in 32,000 soldiers from Aram to defeat Israel. However, Israel won victory. One thing for certain was that God was indeed with David wherever he went. We can see that the scale of intensity in battle did not make a difference in David's case. Fifth point, the right of Chronicles does not include the record of Ishi Bibeno from Philistine who tried to kill David and how Abishai saved David. Ancient was generally occurred all year round except during winter. And always when winter passed, Israel was once again at war with Ammon. During this particular war, David did not go out and the command was Joah. Joah brought great victory. Israel also won the battle against the Philistines. The event of Absalom's coup d'etat, which was recorded in 2 Samuel, was not recorded in Chronicles. The event of Abishai saving David's life was also not recorded. In Chronicles, records that went against David's honor were taken out. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdoc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 